morning in our series, The Upside, a fast-growing social club where young people gather to play a game that's been around for, you know, about 200 years. NBC <laughs> News Now anchor Joe Fryer got a crash course in Mahjong. Yeah, and they are pretty good teachers, I'll tell you that. Ooh. So the four founding members of the Green Tile Social Club all went to the University of Texas in Austin, but they didn't meet until they all moved here to New York and started playing Mahjong. And what started with four people has now grown into a club that's welcomed nearly 4,000. It's a game that connects players to their culture and to each other. Mahjong, which was the backdrop for a pivotal scene in the movie Crazy Rich Asians. These days, the green tile is in style. Mahjong is having a bit of a renaissance. Honestly, I think it's because at its core, Mahjong is a very simple game and a very social game, and it's just the ultimate connector. It's why Joe Shu, Ernie Chan, Sarah Tang, and Grace Liu created the Green Tile Social Club, which didn't start as a club. It started with a simple Instagram story. Hungry to play Mahjong, he's down to learn. At first, four of them gathered for a weekly game night. And that slowly just like grew and grew. Like we posted on our stories and people were like, wait, I want to learn how to play. Or I've been like looking for this. Before you knew it, they had an Instagram account, then a logo, then a name, all promoting their meetups. What does that say, the fact that it's grown so quickly? It says that Mahjong is back. <laughs> I think it speaks a lot to young Asian Americans like us looking for that community and looking to connect back to our roots and culture. Many grew up watching their parents and grandparents play, and it was serious business. One day, I finally got the approval to have my own seat at the table. <laughs> you have to get approval? Once they think you know what you're doing, you're like, okay, you can have your own seat. <laughs> Of course, that's not everyone's experience. I didn't learn until recently. For a lot of my life, like, I was always too intimidated. And then it wasn't until I came to New York and I met all of us together, like, they taught me how to play. Grace is far from alone. That's why the club focuses on teaching newcomers. I'm new. Am I going to be okay? You're going to be just yeah. fine. Even teaching me. The name of the game in Mahjong is to create a winning hand. I was joined by a couple fellow novices. Have you been dying to play? I've been dying to play. I'm so excited for this. We listened intently as Joe showed us how the game bears some resemblance to poker. Instead of a deck of cards, you've got a wall of tiles. After a quick lesson... 90,000. East. Oh. Nice. <laughs> we were playing... Whiteboard. Fortune. Six of high. I pump. Yes. <laughs> Woohoo! And catching on. Uh, north. Making it accessible at all levels is key to attracting so many players. A lot of people come in and they meet people. By the end of meetup, they're all exchanging numbers, social handles, and then we end up seeing them all like hanging out outside of our events as well. Word travels so fast, it recently reached a surprising name. SNL's Bowen Yang showed up. Yeah. <laughs> Did that blow your yeah. mind? The craziest <laughs> moment ever. And he showed up on time, right at the start, stayed through the entire event played with us. What did that tell you? We're a big deal, I guess. <laughs> so big, Ember Lowe brought her mom, who was visiting from China. How much is mom helping you here today? Uh, we've only won one so far, actually, out of like five games. <laughs> Still, that family connection is important. Just ask Lenny on. For me, it's a way to connect with my grandma because she has Alzheimer's and she says it helps keep her wits a lot. So when we're doing it, when we're playing, it kind of really helps keep her mind sharp. That must mean a lot to you. Yeah, it's, it's a wonderful thing. These green clad tiles are not building walls. They're tearing them down. In doing so, keeping hundreds of years of tradition alive too, you know, and making sure that we can pass it down to the next generation just like our parents and our grandparents did and keeping it alive. The club generally holds one big meetup each month with some smaller events for more experienced players in other times. The founders say they want to keep growing and actually turn the club into a small business. They're trying to raise funds so they can hold even more events in more places all around New York. I love I that. I have so many questions. I'm like, so wait, where do you draw from and what's the goal here? And I, I love playing games. I think this I think if you like thing. playing games, then you will like this because there are just so many little intricacies you have to learn. Yeah. You do have to have four people to play a game. It's okay. not something where you're like, oh, I have two, it's fine. Right. you got to have four people. 
little like really rum good at it, Dylan. It, I say it's like rummy cube. I like rummy cube, and to me, yeah, me knowing too. rummy cube made it much easier to learn this or rummy, and then also a little poker in there too. Okay. So. You picked it up pretty quickly. I picked yeah. it up. I tried to teach myself the day before at home, which was <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> it did not go to one of the. They'll, they'll teach you exactly. properly. That was yeah. great. Thank, Thank you. you. Joe. Something you new. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.